We have won a lot over the past seven days, like we learned that 420 <laughs> is going to be more than just playing with cardboard boxes in Nintendo Labo, and Xbox Game Pass is turning into something pretty darn rad. Here are our top five stories of the week. Number 5. February means Valentine's Day, the Chinese New Year, and of course, a new lineup for games with gold. Next month, Microsoft is offering gold subscribers Shadow Warrior and Assassin's Creed Chronicles India on Xbox One. On 360, Split Second and Crazy Taxi will be your two options, though remember they're backwards compatible on Xbox One as well. Number 4. The next Dragon Age game is alive and live, as in it exists and it's a live game. But what exactly does that mean? BioWare General Manager Casey Hudson took a minute to explain that phrase on Twitter, saying, Too early to talk details, but when we talk about live, it just means designing a game for continued storytelling after the main story. So there's going to be DLC? Which is the case for almost every game these days, so it seems like a weird choice of words, unless it means something else. Number 3. Microsoft is working towards formally making Xbox Game Pass the Netflix of gaming. The company revealed that all future first-party games will become available at launch on the subscription service. So when Sea of Thieves releases March 20th, it'll be part of Xbox Game Pass the same day without any extra charge. Pretty awesome for a $10 a month service. And Microsoft says the same will be true for State of Decay 2 and Crackdown 3, plus for future Halo, Gears and Forza games. Number 2. Nintendo Labo? Labo? Still no idea how to pronounce it. Isn't the only thing coming out on April 20th. Sony has announced God of War will launch that same day, which is a Friday, by the way, and game director Cory Balrog is pretty proud of what he and his team have created with Kratos this time. On the PlayStation blog, Balrog said, Let me say that this is my favorite release day of my entire career. If I live to be 100, I do not think I will be able to top this release day. Honestly, the game does look gorgeous. I'm just desperately hoping it has that satisfying hack and slash combat the series is known for. I feel like I still haven't seen quite enough to be sure. And number one, Captain Marvel might look a little bit different than you'd expect in an upcoming Marvel movie. Page Six has the first set of photos of Brie Larson in the costume as the superhero, but she's not in her regular red, blue, black, and gold suit. Instead, Larson is donning a green, black, and silver costume, possibly pointing to a Kree storyline in the Captain Marvel movie set for 2019. Something abnormal is happening, that's for sure. And those are your top five stories of the week. Be sure to watch the rest of our Daily Fix episodes for more news and check out our video review of Monster Hunter World. Or you can, you know, just go back to playing it if you already have it, because that sounds like a great way to spend the weekend. I'm right there with you. With that, I'm Alana Pierce, and I'll see you next time.